Hey, how's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good time. Uh, today we have the regular ca the gang, right? Paolo, Frankie, myself. And um, we're kind of thinking of ideas as to what we want to talk about. Um, we were coming up with, you know, formations of teams and development and strategy and how you would want to run the team. And we said, well, you know what? Why don't we do that? Why don't we create the formations we'd want to see being played? And then with the players that we think uh, currently would create the best team. So we each picked our 11. And um, I'm excited to see how you guys set it all up. Welcome, oh, you're Paolo. Gonna, Frank here. You're going to see it. You're going to yeah, see it. It's going to happen. We're going to share, right? What do we do? Everybody pick their formations. We're going to talk about why we picked that formation, how they should play. We picked players. We picked a boatload of subs to make up for the players we were afraid to not pick. <laughs> uh -huh. And we picked the coach. And then the we're going to make fun of each other. I think it's yeah. going to be a hell of a show. I can't wait. I'm excited. And then I avoided go... work all day today to think <laughs> about this topic. I, it dawned on me, like, after, like, two minutes, I was like, we're all going to have the same players. So I'm going to just write to be, I tried the first to be 11 unique. that came to mind. <laughs> no, mine are actually well thought out and planned. And Dylan, I was, Dylan, I, was, I Dylan. even had like a backup coach, like who the assistant coach would be. An but. assistant coach, Oriali. <laughs> Throw in coach. Can't wait. Can't wait to hear who it is. The best <laughs> assistant coach. All right, so, Paul, I want to see what you were coming up with. I mean, we were all, all right, talking so. about this earlier. You were, you know, letting us know that you had this certain vibe to it. So, let, let's let's hear. How did you develop yeah. your team and all that? Yeah, all walk right. us. Well, is it all inter players? Ah, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. And look, but they're already blue. Look, the guys are blue. Well, I actually, you know, oh, it yeah, defaulted okay, yeah. to white, and I changed it blue specifically. Hmm, I wonder. So, uh, all right. So don't make fun of me of anything I pick, but uh, I stand by my choices. These, uh, I went with a 3-5-1-1. Hmm. And specifically, I went this way. And I'm more of a traditional, I, I, I'm a defender. So I go, I usually stick more defensive. So I thought I was going to go like 4-4-2 four, four, or something along those lines. So <laughs> picking a back line of three, I did it under certain pretenses. So I wanted like, I wanted the midfield and the defense like super tight down the middle. You'll notice in my screen, do you guys see the mouse move on your yeah. side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see so it. You'll see there's no like lanes right for dribbling someone you know these two guys cover this lane these two guys protect each other so this guy's you know he's defensive mid so even though there's three at the back there's a guy right there there's coverage everywhere there's so there's always a triangle there's always a like triangle it. so it's it's meant to be quick quick up the wings i want fast paced wings but the middle the backbone dead solid dead tight and you're going to see the guys i picked are workhorses breakdown plays can counterattack great passers and it that i think a formation is only as good as the players you put into it so uh and i wanted a guy hanging out up front that's why i did one one instead of two this guy like just keeping defenders busy up top here so it opens up the space and gets my fast wingers to just keep pummeling either side i want defenders to have to worry about both sides that's how it started so that's what everything <laughs> what? I just said means. These guys play this area. These guys only stick in here. You'll notice they only track back a little bit. They're pumping them forward. And this is a forward that can come back and play his area and be free. No. You guys ready to start? I already can see the players you put in there. Come I'm on. Right. Take a guess. You can, you can guess a few before I go, I go on. You guess a few right. players. Well, the top two are going to be the, the two from Inter. Both Wrong. Of them. Wrong. <laughs> Do you think I picked Lukaku for this when I had the choice of any player? Yes. <laughs> Although I do like him. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Becker. And I picked Allison Becker because if you're going to play with three at the back, then modern game, you need a Frankie style goalie. You need a, a goalie that can play with his feet. Frankie style. You need a, you a sweeper keeper. You need there a guy is. that, you know, he gets out of trouble. He can play ball with his feet. He's super confident with it. Also helps in counterattacks because he can make the right pass. So I want to find, obviously, a top goalie. But who's able to play the ball? <laughs> Guy in the middle has got to be Van Dyke. Of course. I didn't know you are such a scouser. No, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go that way. Yeah, let's, we're all going to pretend something like Van Dyke's not a good player. <laughs> 
He's got the leadership, commanding mm-hmm. presence. If I'm, if you're gonna play three at the back, your center, your center back is crucial. Because mm-hmm. you don't have, a, it's you're not worried about a partnership. Two guys in the middle, um, center back's got to be dead on. So I had a lot of guys I was trying to pick through, but in the end, and like, yeah, he should uh, never be facing his own goal, man. He yeah, never be facing his own goal. <laughs> well, he's talking to Becker. Don't worry about it. Ooh, Kimmich. I, I I wanted I a pacey, pick, young, good, defending. Great pick. And I pick Kimmich because he can also score goals. Can also go. If I'm gonna have wingers that are gonna be pummeling forward, I wanted a defender who's been good at defense, and can kind of attack. Mm-hmm. So and a little bit something different. So I picked Kimmich. It's very good. nice. Other side, Jordi Alba. You you can't spend eight years at Barcelona and nobody takes that position without being good. He's fast, breakdown plays, good defender. Pick Jordi Alba. It was him or it was maybe Marcelo, but I went with Jordi Alba. Now, between those two, it's a difficult choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obviously, I'll make him a seventh sub. My DM. Wow. <laughs> I think I Rosa saw that Lula. one. Come on, you'll take and a screenshot. If you don't watch him play, I, I think he's crit- Bro- Brozovic is critically underrated in that role. He always wants the ball, is super strong at breaking down plays, hangs around covering midfield and defense. So I wanted someone that was had the mentality of like wants to win, but is always tracking back and holding that DM spot. So he's my pick for. All right. Only interplayer I pick. Justified. Justified. No, he's good. Next one. Another. I, I to me is another underrated. I love Milinkovic Savage from Lazio. Two years ago, he was like one of, going to be one of the top transfer market guys, and then had one bad season for whatever, and his price dropped this year. Back at it. I mean, he, he's instrumental for Lazio. Calm, you could shoot from anywhere. Big presence, and I wanted two center, two guys in the center that had that kind of presence because I wanted to leave De Bruyne to be more free and use his creativity. And if De Bruyne's not on your list, then you know, I think you're you're I don't know what's wrong with you right now. <laughs> Good show. Uh, mentality was big. So for my left back, uh, my, my, my wing back on the left, uh, I picked Sun. Because Sun's just a good player, good attitude, doesn't tire, doesn't stop. I wanted I wanted some more workhorses. Something happened with my slides. Something happened with my slides. I missed my Salah slide. <laughs> so Salah on the right. Because speed, so remember, I wanted high pressing uh, outside, lots of speed, and guys that can score goals. My uh, obviously, my one of my strikers is Holland. I'm just a big fan. I think he's just really good, and he wants he's a winner, and he wants to he's always win. Goals. He's hungry, so I wanted a guy that could do that. Now the next striker was where I was struggling. There's just so many, many good strikers, but I picked Mbappe. Oh, man. That's a it's lethal just, attack. It's just yeah. too good. And as my coach, I picked Inzaghi because I'm getting a little partial to how good he's doing with uh, the little he's given. Yeah. First, let me just say, what a presentation, dude. That was that was fantastic. The pictures Dang. were dynamic, and <laughs> I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Dynamic. And I, I have to say... I'm really upset at team... what happened with one of my slides. Why? Yeah. What happened to my but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Google, Google Slides uh, dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> I don't know if I. Oh, my subs. Are you ready for my subs? Yeah. Yeah, let's see this. All six I'll of them. All six of them. All six of them. <laughs> All right. So, Skriniar, because I'm just a huge fan, but mm-hmm. I couldn't justify him over Van Dyke. So, what he's good at, though, he plays best as a four man defense. So, if I want to switch formation, I got a guy that a jumps in and suddenly do it. Um, so personally, good. I'm a huge fan of Bastoni as a youngster. I wanted to get a couple of like rising youngsters. I was going to pick Mendy from uh, Real Madrid, but Bastoni is playing for Inter. He's super young. He's doing amazing. Champions League already, and he did fine. I like him. Hazard is, I think, just amazing, but I couldn't justify him over De Bruyne. Tonali is... Uh, I picked Tonali at the point that I realized my, Itali- my entire team didn't have one Italian in it, and it's <laughs> really sad. Which is awful. But Tonali is just upcoming. Him and Barella are like the next 
defensive midfielders for Italy. So they're good. The Bull Martinez, I think he's just a top striker that's up and coming. And I wanted someone like Lewandowski, someone that had like experience, just proven, no problems. You throw him in any game, and he's going to be, he's going to, he knows what he's doing. Wow. That is my. He hasn't uh, been a top player across the world for no reason. Exactly. So those are my, uh, those are my picks. Do you have a coach for this team of yours? Oh, yeah, Inzaghi. Oh, yeah, it was Inzaghi. Oh, yeah, that's the other right, Inzaghi. That's right. Inzaghi, that's right. My bad. I, was, I, I like Coach up a lot, you know what I mean? But yeah, I want to yeah. be different. And Inzaghi is just like... Lazio, he stays loyal. He's got a team of good to, you know, decent, good players. But he's got mm-hmm. them playing really well. And now he's competing and said, yeah, he could have been taking it this year. Um, so I just think he's a really good coach. He's proven it. He doesn't buckle under pressure. Do you know any team that plays a 3-5-1-1 currently? It's really... Any of Conte's teams essentially no. play a 3-5-2. I feel, like, I feel like every adaptation now is a, is of a 3-5-2. Like uh, where you have the the defender that pushes up, like a Trent yeah. on a, uh, Alexander, the TAA, and then the other guy on the other side. They, one takes off, one has to sit back. So exactly. it's always a line of three. Yeah. So it's played, but in a fluid way now. I uh, I really – before I started this, because I think first you got to pick out your what you want as your formation, as like your style of play. And then obviously you got to pick players that, that fit that. So I, at that point now, like I only had to pick three defenders, not four. And for me, being more naturally defensive, I was really like, no, nah, I'm going to do four at the back. And But it's just – I can play – to me, this formation can still act – Super defensive when you want to turn it on. So as soon as you lose the ball, what do they have to go up against? They got Milinkovic, Savic, Brozovic, guys that will chase them down and break down any play. You got Sala and Son that are workhorses that don't just hang up top and do nothing. And in the front, you got two young guys that should chase chase shit down. So my, my only my only critique my only there critique be a would lot be of is why you know. Jordi Alba and Kimmich are both offensive minded. And when you have a line of three, you typically want to have like three center backs, like not yeah. wanting to push forward at all. Mm-hmm. So that I think would be uh, a vulnerable spot for any yeah. sort of. Uh, yeah, you're going to leave. Attack. What's his name by himself? Yeah, if you're going up Brian against Dyke. a 4 3 3. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. I think this is, you're this pretty is... money with, uh, with, with a lot of those other ones. Nice, nice team. Good surprises, dude. I was surprised by Kimmich. That was cool. Jordi Alba wasn't even in like I had not even a thought in my head at all. <laughs> Savic I thought about. That was pretty decent. Of all the the Inter players, I was surprised that you picked. That I, I, I I picked the one that's actually the machine of the team right now. That's what I mean. He's totally underrated for the yeah. team. But the team knows his importance because Everyone as soon as knows. he's not there, the team just doesn't tick. Good forwards. Great forwards. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. That was awesome, dude. Can, Frankie, let's see. Who who would Paulo go, be going up against round one? What do you mean? You're setting up the team. Reel. I want to see who you set up. So oh, if team. Paulo oh. was going to battle the team. Yeah, who would it be? Round one and a round robin. They would go up against your formation and your team. What do you got? Mm, you want to see what I got? Hold on, let me get it ready. Presents. I mean, do you imagine how how beast of an attack PSG would have if they had Holland and Mbappe? You know, I struggle oh, with Mbappe because as a player, hands down, phenomenal. He dives a lot, though. And I was like, oh, do I pick someone else that's a little more like... Not doing that, but he's it's undeniable his talent. He's just that good. It's the same thing with yeah. Neymar. How do you almost not pick him? I didn't pick him just to stay away from the, you know, Ronaldo's and Messi's and all that, and pick a different type of team. But that's I I I teetered on uh, Mbappe a bit, but he's just too good. Too good. Too good. Mentality right. wise too, because you notice all of my players were workhorse mentalities. Play for the team style. All right, boys. Sorry, I was, sort just, of I was just running a real, little. Yeah. Sorry, boys. I was just running a little test. 
I'm ready to go. Yeah, I see I didn't run my test, yeah. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Going into presentation mode. Are you boys ready for this? So Hang on, I'm not ready. Yes. All right, I'll wait. Let me take a sip really quick. <laughs> I am ready. Go ahead. All nervous. right. Yes. All right, boys. This is, this is Team Franco, and I Look decided to go with a 4 2 3 1. Like Balo, I'm very defensive minded, but I like the ability to adapt with the game, change formations as I'm playing. And I think this, this formation gives me that versatility to go forward and tuck in if I need to at any point. And I can, you can make space with this lineup. So, first and foremost, I have to pick the best goalie in the game, and uh, that's Oblak because the dude oh, is a nice. saving machine. He was my second choice. He's, yeah, he's good. I, it's hard he's to incredible. say that he's underrated, but he's just he's just incredible, the saves that he makes. I mean, yeah. uh, Atletico is always touted for having... His feet aren't the best, but he's got incredible hands. It doesn't matter. He, he's, he stops goals from going in, and that's yeah. basically the most important part. And when you have a team that plays when you play for a team that plays with all 11 men and your own third you know it's you know every now and then you got to save a shot it's just but he doesn't really need to be good with his feet he needs to be able to distribute 10 fucking yards well, especially and, so oblak was one of my choices but when i picked three at the back i wanted a, specifically a, a player who can play with his feet and that's why but if you have four at the back oblak all the way you wanna, he's the better newer that's all right He's yeah. a newer. He's a newer, newer. All right. He's a newer, newer. <laughs> so uh, at right back, I hate that I like that so much. At right back, <laughs> at right back, I was really playing with this one a little bit because I was like, it was almost too obvious of a choice, but um, I picked Trent because the dude is uh, is in fuego. I like his heart. I like his his pace. His great pass on the ball. And it's hard to deny that he's just awesome to play at that position. So. I take Trent. He still has a lot, a little bit to learn, but I think with the the rest of the back four that he's playing with, he'll do just fine because he has Virgil, which everything that Paulo said, he's a leader. He's he's got pace, strength, yep. everything that you want in a defender, best defender in the world. So, um, it'd but, be silly not to go with him. It'd be ridiculous not to, right? So, mm-hmm. but what would be more ridiculous is to leave out this dude, yeah. Kulu, Kulu Bali. Who is arguably the if next? If I went with if I went with a four man, sport. that was going to be the same partnership I would have had in the back. So and then so now this gives you that that you know that that defensive back that on the unbreakable line basically. You never you got two guys that are just the best at their position, and there's nothing you could do. They're good with their feet. They're good in the air. They got strength. They got sprains. They got everything. They're composed. There's no way you're breaking on this line. Best defense in the world. Uh, hands down. Davies, because the dude is lightning, man. Have you seen this yeah. kid play? I oh, actually, I was, I was contemplating how I tried to put him on my team, but it didn't fit. But, yep. So now, so like Paolo. Now, Paolo now you those, see why it was six those, subs. Mm-hmm. Paolo had those, Paolo's had those outside backs. Like you were saying, you had that vulnerability. If you have two guys that like to go, like to go forward, but you're going to leave one man vulnerable. It's hard to have two guys that go forward in a three-man back. So I have that ability to go forward with these two guys and still have Kulubali and 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 Van Dijk to just stay stay home. And right in front of them, you got the mm-hmm. one of the best center defensive midfielders in the world, and Ingola Kante. Um, what's it to say? PF Player of the Year two years in a row. Went He's from one winning, went from one winning team to the other, and literally the most humble dude in the world. So Igor Lucante is just he needs to be in my team. I think any team, any top six, seven team in the world right now should be picking this dude up. Like you know Real Madrid, like any of those teams should be buying him up. And I don't know how they're not. So next to him, um, I. This one is like, you know, who do you pick in this position? You pick someone that goes forward. You pick someone that's, you know, an, another strong defensive back. But I, I had to go with uh, Frankie De Jong because he's silky, he's smart, he plays with that smile on his face, and he's just he's a future. So I think with him and Kante next to each other, I think they kind of marry each other really well because 
De Jong can like have that creativity to go forward, see a play, make a pass while you know Conte is doing most of that legwork, you know, but also breaking up plays and then distributing. So I think together they can spread out the team and also cover a lot of ground. So that, those are my two center defensive mids. Yeah, so yeah, we're good. Show like me Paolo, the yeah, like Paulo said. It'd be ridiculous. Not it'd be retarded not to have this dude on your team. The best, <laughs> he's the best center attacking midfielder in the world, and probably awesome. probably the best passer in the world. And just technically sound, man. The dude is incredible. It's amazing how red he gets. I, I want him on my team just to see how red <laughs> his face gets, man. He's like a light bulb, dude. It's weird. And then, you know what? This was actually interesting because I I thought I'd be the only person. With this guy on his team, but um, Bale, Bale. So okay. I, I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty far out one. Is it weird? I know it's weird, but the I dude. Don't, is I don't. Good. I don't think it's weird at all. I mean, he he has like a weird career, but like as a player. Yeah, this, we're gonna pretend like he's not play. good all of a yeah, sudden. Right. No, he so, he scores goals. He's an It's attacker. like Benzema. We're gonna pretend like Benzema's not a goal scoring machine yeah, and knows right. where to stand every time. You know, it's funny you yep. say that about Benzema, but um. And I think I think I I picked this player for the same reason Paulo picked this this player, but Son his work yeah. and everything about I I love this dude man just like me too he just he works so hard he's he he, he scores goals he covers so much ground and I just I, I love this dude man so Son is always in my in my team I think I mean that left side Son Davies dude this is it's just nothing but speed so. Good luck getting down those wings. Um, and then up top, the best number nine in the world, and that's Lewandowski. I mean, what more? What more can you say when you need goals? Lewandowski is gonna put them in. I mean, the dude's a machine. Like it delivers. He's a machine. He's the best number nine yeah. in the world. So that's my team. That's my starting eleven. I like it. For my subs, I have Mane, Fabinho, and Tonali. Um, yeah, Tonali. Yeah. Tonali, I think I wanted him as a replacement for De Jong. Um, you know, that creativity, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a work rate kind of position. I think he, depending on who he's with in the midfield, I think that could work. Fabinho is, if you wanted a transition, um, maybe to three at the back or something like that, or or uh, Conte needed a break or something like that, I think Fabinho can come in and play a defensive mid or uh, uh, like a center back role if you need him to. And yeah. I, I don't think he gets enough credit, especially in the EPL, but I think Liverpool owe, owe a lot of credit to him because he's really, really good. Um, and then Mane, man, the dude's insane. Mane is left mid, he comes in. I almost really wanted to start him over Son, but that was just a toss up. I, I yeah. don't know. I went. With, I don't know. I just. Uh, yeah. It's a flip of a coin, really. It all depends on how they're training. You know what I mean? If they're slacking off, <laughs> it's fucking. Do you know something. that uh, my original yeah. up until the very oh. end had Mane in that in Sun spot, and then I was like, no, Sun. Sun, Sun worked harder in training, man. Yeah, Sun <laughs> is the guy that's got to go. He proved himself but, on the yeah. on the on the field. He showed yeah. up. <laughs> no, no, Mane is on my Mane. PowerPoint. Actually, Mane is a very humble dude, too. So yeah, he's I'm awesome. About him, Mane, but. So that's my team. And then for my coach, I mean, who other than Ancelotti, man? He's he's just, he's the man, dude. He's the man. I don't know. He's the best coach. I love him. I love his style. And I think with this team, the way he plays, how he sometimes, if he needs a goal, he'll do two at the back and push guys forward. He's, I mean, He's the coach. I mean, I know normally he plays with like a 4-4-2, which I, you can actually do. I actually have this line up here where I switch to a 4-4-2. I have the same back four, but then you can see I have a diamond in the middle with Sané and Lewandowski up top and Tonali in the midfield. Tonali. I like the diamond in the middle. I have very a lot, 90s of you. I have a lot of creativity yeah. in the middle. And then, you know, your classic number nine and your whatever you call the other guy. Badass, a legit fucking scoring machine. <laughs> yeah, and then like uh, I mean, Liverpool s- s- win so many games. Conte and uh, Koulibaly were, like you said, like a, a coin flip for me over and over. Like to exclude them was so difficult. Was asinine. Yeah, but there's yeah. so dude. There are so many players. Dybala, yeah. 
uh, to, I could to, you could just go. There's so many of them that I was. That's what like, made this fun. Insanity. Yeah. But leaving out Messi and Ronaldo made it a little bit more interesting. I think. I think yeah. we probably could have left out like, uh, even Van Dyke. Maybe I don't know because I know we're all gonna have him. But this is maybe not. Maybe 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 not. I don't know. Are you crazy if you don't? So. That was my that's, uh Mohamed Salah my moment. Like, oh mm-hmm. Salah, like pacey winger, that's like it's real defensive. Mm. Oh, it's highly it's highly defensive, but my outside backs are more wing backs. I mean that goes to you can transition this into a two two, three, four if you want to, and go all out attack. Mm-hmm. A two a two three a two four one three and destroy teams. I mean not destroy teams, but you would just the bail is like it's a I variation don't... to Achilotti's Christmas tree. He said that that's what he loves. That's his formation. You know, there, are, that there, are, a shortage yeah. of, there are a shortage of good outside right wingers, I think. I mean, Bale was like, I don't really know who to throw out there. Well, that's like, why that. I threw out Salah. Yeah. That's where he's at, on the 4-3-3. Yeah, that's true. He's outside. Well, I am, uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm excited to see yours, Tito, so I'm going to get out of this. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Paulo, I think I'm just kidding, man. No, like you, man. Um, I'm a big advocate for three five two. I grew up playing that system more than any other. Um, I think it's it's easy to transition defensively and attacking. So I think that that makes it for me one of the more mm-hmm. uh, exciting. And so I would actually start again, like you, Allison. Uh, you have to think about when you're doing a three five two. You have to have a keeper back there that could actually use his feet, and it just makes it that much better. Yeah, Varane, um, I think that he is not only DJ's b- most impressive player, but uh, the guy has three CL championships. The guy won the World Cup. The guy knows what he's doing in the back. I think that he is a really good defender. And when you want somebody that stays back, that has speed in a 3-5-2 system, I think that he fits the mold perfectly. Um VVD, I won't even have to talk about it. We all said if you don't have him in your pick, then you're just uh, <laughs> unsure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. And then Sergio Ramos. I know I, I was busting your chops, but I think when you're thinking about uh, the person that just wins games at the end, it's this guy. Mm. And uh, you would rather have him on your team more, uh, than not have him on your team. Uh, N'Golo Kante, uh, just like uh, Frankie was saying, I think that... The, He's he covers the job of two to three people. And everything that he does showed you the zones that they would be covering, how they would step into there. Uh, <laughs> Sadio Mane on the left. I think that it was just a matter of uh, we explained him, man. That guy was scoring goals. The guy was on fire. He doesn't stop hustling. Uh, the kind of player that you'd want on your team. KDB. Not even gonna say anything else again. Mbappe again. And uh, Chucky Lozano, actually, nice. I think that's the Conca calf. Uh, that's uh, his work rate is just as high as they are up there. I think he's got a potential. I wanted to go for a young kid, and I think that uh, he's he's awesome. So I, I, it's just a bummer to see that Gattuso doesn't want to put him on his team when he plays. So uh, we'll see if it changes post injury, post uh, COVID. But uh, if not, he should probably get out of there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Areas they get to cover, right? You don't. I don't really want Mbappe and KDB running back too far. They want. I want Mbappe to take care of the entire defensive position, but he's the one that steps in depending on who steps out. I put in Neymar because I didn't. I don't count him in the same stratosphere as Messi and Ronaldo, just because he's a, a step below that. I think him and like the VVD are in conversation in the same kind of conversation, um, but he would be the guy doing the creating, and I would be the one finishing. Aguero, for uh, sure. My coach would be Zidane, uh, six-time CL champion after the three he'd win with these guys. And then, um, where is it? Oh, yeah, my... Uh, Firmino, Pogba, and Koulibaly were my subs. Pogba, I, I think that he had, uh, it, he'd be a, a good fit in the back if, if uh, you get him in the right, right attitude. I think that uh, when he's on point, he has a World Cup. He played incredible with Juventus, so... On the team for sure. Firmino, I think that same kind of work rate as the other two. Um, maybe more. And then Koulibaly in the back. You said it, Frankie. You got to have him. But that's my team. Nice. I would say that within where you put Mbappe, you're playing a 3-4-3. Three, because three. I can't see Mbappe covering that role. Yeah. 
Yeah, I see. And I that's see why you have to have a Conte to have. You that. do, you do. I mean, that's, I'm uh, some that's of my like guys were were coverage, right? I I yeah. want Savic and Brozovic because they're going to cover defensively for the two yeah. win backs that might be going up. So I mean, I think maybe he's good there because it's balanced. Yeah, you could play. You could play. And then if right you want to go to Conte. Yep. And Conte, Conte covers so much ground. You can just have him kind of sit right behind De Bruyne. <laughs> really, you yep. could, man. And then with and your then, back, then, with your back three, you're solid, dude. I don't think they're gonna be. Those guys are all fast. They're good yeah. playing out the ball. They got feet on them. They're smart players. See, that's why I picked. I picked fast guys for my um. For, for my three, outside three, defenders. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that you know the center. It's just pure luck too that vbd also ends up being super quick but (laughs) that's not why i picked him he's just perfect right but my outside guys were meant to be quick and good at chasing people down and breaking it breaking it up and getting it out they can hold the ball so yeah there's there's thoughts you know you know i i had a good i had a good one was a starter yeah, and, then, and yeah. then it was a bench, and then he got moved right off the bench by the time <laughs> I picked it. And uh, you can only pick eleven just, guys. It was just yeah, it was this process of elimination. He was, he's so good, but yes. it's just a limited number of guys that I can have. But it's a great pick. Do you think Neymar can actually play with Aguero? Do you think? Yeah, that, I, 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 yeah. Neymar could play with anybody. I think. I that, think. If if you play also in a three five two system, that Neymar position, you just let him run free. Essentially, he plays anywhere he wants because you're gonna have more structure within KDB, Kante, and Mbappe will only push forward with because of his speed. So when you have Neymar, is he gets to float and kind of if he wants to be on the wing out by Mane, if he wants to swing out to the other side, he gets a lot of freedom. I think that that's where a player like that shines best, and he's he's an incredible player. And Neymar has to be left free. Or else you're you're basically putting him in a cage. That's how, yeah. It's one thing that he's been not, not on like a runner. A not yeah. on a run. You gotta let him. You got. It's one of the other. He's a peacock. Free? You gotta let him fly. I'm a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let him spread things with here. All right. So I have a question for both of you, and we'll yeah. do Paulo first, since you oh. went first. I'm already nervous. Um, who's your captain? Let me go back to my lineup. <laughs> I like defensive so captains. I'm thinking about yours because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say VVD because you'll people listen to him when he speaks. A captain's gotta be something. If he says, "Hey, everybody," kind of perks up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I like Puyol. Sure. Puyol's you know that's a captain. So for me, it's VVD. In this in the lineup I have for sure. You Frankie? I'm looking at my lineup, and I've, if I were Ancelotti, I would probably give it to VVD. Possibly all black, but most likely VVD. Yeah. Oh, Lewandowski's up there, For too. The I don't reasons. like giving it Le- to the forward. Yeah, Lewandowski's uh, a, he's a good captain, but yeah, a forward captain is, is, is odd, in my captain. opinion. I feel like that's why he doesn't do When your that. forward's a captain, it's because the rest of your team... Nella is a forward for the LAFC, and he did awesome. Mm. Yeah, because MLS. He because his fantastic. defenders weren't leaders. <laughs> but um, all black. Oh, man. All black. Or VVD. How about you? I, I would probably put uh, Sergio Ramos. Like, I've been captain for Real Madrid for how many years now? Yeah, if you like, could, I if win you could games command out that of team. nowhere. Yeah. But it's yeah, a captain. You, you got to be able to like your team respects you. And if you can be on a, a team like Real Madrid and the players that come in and out of there, and maintain that. Yeah, definitely Ramos. I would give it to Ramos. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't have Ramos in my team. I didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised too. I was I was looking at you guys. Listen, I was like, fuck, I got the same exact ones as these guys. I'm gonna present nobody new. No, no, that was actually good. We had some good intro. We had. Yeah. We had all the right ones. But it's the guys all, we all had good don't teams. pick, you know. What I, I, mean? went, I wonder how many people would actually pick the same players that we did for the exact same reasons, and then be able to tally up like which player everybody would have. No, because everybody team. has a favorite. Like, there's no way 
Tommy wouldn't pick uh, uh, an Arsenal player. Insignia. There's no way. It would be impossible. And there was something wrong with that? Or a Napoli player. Choice. Yeah, he would pick Martin. Yeah, but but it'd, it'd be, it'd be... So the problem, the, the laws of probability would probably say that it would it would be high. Chances are very un, actually unlikely that they would I think, pick the same I think, to team. me, BBD, De Bruyne, and Kante are the guys that everyone's like, yeah. I, 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 I need a... I need a capstone for my team. You know what I mean? I need that yeah. guy that holds everything together. Yeah, someone's always gonna throw in a wild card. Somebody. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I think my wild card was Chucky Lozano. I wanted yeah. I wanted the Conga Cap to represent. I think right. that uh, it was gonna be either between him or Pizarro. Mm. Hmm. Pizarro, I think, is he's nice, man. Of uh, MLS. Yeah. So I um. To our listeners, I hope you followed along. If not, just check our posts because we're definitely going to be posting pictures of our teams. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I I wonder <laughs> it would be fun if we can actually make those teams and then have them play against each other. If we can, we could probably do that on FIFA. I'd imagine and then do a simulation game. Simulation game, dude. It's insane. <laughs> I wonder if you could just do game simulators where you just enter, Paulo, write up some code. A, oh yeah! <laughs> Hang on, just give me uh, give me ten seconds. Write up some code. <laughs> write up some code. Your presentation. Write that's how long it takes in the movies, so uh, yeah, that's kind of what just, I expect. Yeah, but like, there's no techno music playing. And... Yeah, we need a CSI montage. <laughs> you gotta be wearing sunglasses too. <laughs> for some reason, because of the bright I go, screen. I gotta go find my leather jacket. Hang on. <laughs> This was a lot of fun. I think a lot yeah. of people have fun with this. Same topic. But, I wish I, Franco, were you were you as shocked as I was of how few Italian names came to mind? I can only other think than like old rising ones. stars. No, I can actually only think of old ones, like older names. Yeah, exactly. That I wanted to put on there. Like, nah, he's not playing anymore. It's like and then I, I actually I went and con- pulled up the the national team. To see if I'm just like my memory, like oh, how did I forget this? Guy? You know what I mean? Like oh, maybe I just not thinking of him. It's and because I they at missed it and... their World Cup, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, think yeah. about it. And look how much disinterest there is right now with the youth that's being played because they didn't make the World Cup. So now it's like a whole skip year where nobody's even talking about the players that are coming in that could have potential. Oh, and then there's, now with there's this, there's a lot of talk of their. I mean, they qualified. Italy qualified, winning every. You know, no, no losses. And finally playing better, and introduced a lot of youth. But the more players yeah. I was more excited about for my lineup were youngsters for the bench, like a Tonale or a Bastoni, like guys that are like Pellegrini. these guys are actually looking really good. Yeah, Pellegrini but is very good. It's Italy. Italy usually you, you had like seven superstars you could pick mm. from. Yeah, it was never like a whole new team of new yeah. young guys, uncapped, yeah. untested. So it made me a little sad in this exercise. They always have a great youth team. <laughs> Italy is like U20, U21s. They're always fantastic. Mm-hmm. U17 teams. They're always like in the you know semifinal, final. Mexico always... actually also is Mexico really good. And they, good. Got a, they got a, like Olympics. They got a FIFA World Cup maybe at the youth level. I mean, <laughs> they got they got pretty good pedigree in the development. But 